podcast of the Geek I.O. Yes. Media Network. For all of our shows and more, visit geek-io.net. And to help support the network, head over to patreon.com slash geek.io. Hello, gentle listener. While Geek I.O. holds its talent to the highest sense, what follows will likely involve the sort of language usually reserved for sailors on leave. If you're of a delicate disposition, then perhaps you would consider a different podcast. Come at me, bro. Geeking out across the globe. Hold on to your butts. It's the Geek I.O. Show. Holy crap, you guys! This is what? the Geek what? IO Show. Episode number 221. Recorded the 16th of November, 2017. Of course, I'm your host, CJ. And I'm Jared. CJ's wrestler voice died out halfway there. And Vito. I'm Raul. Man, this whiskey is good. Garza. Hope you got enough for everyone. I'm you know, right. I'm Dale trying very, very difficult not to get political very, very quickly, Campbell. I'm Carrie chilling out, Wilcox. Huh. I'm Josh. I'm tired. <laughs> oh. Good night. But he's smiling, I think. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the insanity kicking in. What do you mean, kicking in? <laughs> oh, wow, you're actually starting to know me, Raul. <laughs> no, I, I, I just know people that work in customer service. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's what worse? Josh doesn't just work in customer service. He works in giving people pills. Ooh. And they get mad when they're not allowed to have their pills. This is true. <laughs> or if they forget to take their crazy pills. Right. There is no sense of entitlement stronger than the person who is not on their meds. <laughs> yes. And this is why I've stopped complaining about working in a supermarket. All right, moving on. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, we're not saying that we don't want people to take meds if you need them. No, in yeah. fact, if you are on medication and need it, take your meds. Yes, please. <laughs> Carrie, what are you doing? <laughs> She's really excited about that pre-show text. She's so excited. hype about this pre-show text. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if somebody would read the show notes and no. take off the pre-show text. Oh, the I, chat. I, I, I've got the notes. Why do I have the notes oh. on two screens? And I just see something on the side like, pre-show. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> like someone's yelling at me or something. That's what Caps Lock is for. It's the bullhorn. The thing is, is like I've had it on there since we were doing intros, and the free show text stayed up, so I just kept making it bigger and more obnoxious. I, I've been doing other things, like completing show notes, which well, I should. No, have I'm the one that controls the pre-show um, text. Yeah. Yeah. So like uh, Dale's been spamming it in chat. I've been doing obnoxious things to the show notes. Raul doesn't like RTF check. anything. <laughs> Please return your seat backs to their full, upright, and locked position. Yes, everything's good. We're all good. Everything's right. fine. Play <laughs> tables away. The exits are here, here, and behind it's you, probably, because... Yeah. Here's yeah. Here's a full, upright um, position. CJ, a little yeah. taste of next, mon all right, uh, next Monday. Good night, little mage. Next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus. Jeez. <laughs> Did you watch it? Yes. Dude, <laughs> are you coming on the show Monday? Um, I can. Well, I mean, your the opportunity is there, dude. Um, I saw up to the point where the two new characters pop up. I'm I'm on episode four. I need oh. five and six. I I only got through three because I was watching it on my lunch break. Yeah. Oh, and plus, so... openly weeping at work, I'm like, I can't watch another episode of this right now. <laughs> but you want to, don't you? Oh, yes, I do. And I'm going to. Just not. You like I... Ancient Magus Bride, don't you, Squidward? I, I do love Ancient Magus Bride. It's real good. 
So I have to finish that. I got to finish Food Wars. To, uh, I think I'm back like two episodes. Dragon Ball Super. Um, I believe I Fate. Put the, I put the list in the, in the Slack. Okay. So RTS. All I right. read the Slack. That's why I was. I disagree. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on. Uh, by the way, Danielle is not here tonight. I'm not exactly sure. I, yeah, in anyway, out there. Uh, Everybody oh, say snap. hi to, to my friend, Coralson Rhino. Hello, uh, Coralson Rhino. Hello. Hi. Why is uh, that Rhino so quarrelsome? Because they're endangered. You'd be quarrelsome, too. That's fair. I mean, I'm quarrelsome regardless. <laughs> That's also true, but... <laughs> Anybody who slept with me knows that. Wait a second. <laughs> Gadgets, games, and gizmos. Man, it's been a while since I've got to do this. Josh didn't put anything in the show notes. Josh, go! Yes! So today was my day off. The only one I get this week. <laughs> and I spent most of it making characters for a game that's coming up. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, not my game. I feel honored, and also you should have put something in the show notes. <laughs> oh. He's been he's been too busy working to put things in the show notes. This this is what I do. I don't care I the reason. It's yeah, this is this is the whole thing. This, oh, this, I, I, I'm I'm, I'm I picked on Rachel after being in the hospital of doing this. This is just I'm something keeping the bit going. Oh. <laughs> Not fun if you explain a bit. <laughs> this is actually, by the way, just just again, <laughs> thing that we're ruining this joke and beating it into the ground. This is gonna be one of the most longest running bits on this show. Is CJ picking on people for not putting things in the notes? It's one oh. thing we've kept the entire time. Yeah, that's been since Tadpool Tech. Like that is something that uh, I've always done. Like. <laughs> Admittedly, before the reason why I started this is because I would usually make these show notes like pretty much immediately after we ended the show. Um, so I would give people a week to do that. Dale doesn't do that, who makes the show notes now. Uh, so they could, but people complain I can't find them if I make them too early. You can always make the link happen more than once. <laughs> um, I can't I find I, them. I, I, I need to make a drinking game for. For, for for the podcast. <laughs> ruined, By the way, uh, natural light. Bit. Take a drink. Right you you say that like you don't drink enough already. Right? <laughs> I don't drink as much. Yeah. Okay. Raul's drinking whiskey. Wh whiskey. But he asked me the other day how I can do a drinking stream every single week when I go to work on Thursdays. <laughs> yeah, drinking's hard when you get older. It is, but yet I still do it somehow on Wednesdays. Even I don't though know how you do that. It. Yeah, because uh, I have Kentucky blood. Uh, so, Josh, what have you been up to other than making characters? Which is uh, automatically well, I, 60 proof. Little tiny bit of gaming today. Um, I turned on Breath of the Wild for just a, a little bit while Carrie was taking her post-work nap. Because um, we got the new champion amiibos. Ooh. And I was excited to start working those in. And actually managed to get two of the helmets Ooh. that they uh, introduced into the game. So, so Josh, did you tell Carrie about mm -hmm. my, my, my Breath of the Wild? Oh, yeah, the... Uh, the two Eponas. The, the two Eponas. <laughs> and I lost Epona before I could register her and haven't gotten her again. It's actually funny because wh wh while I was doing my Amiibo drops this evening, I got another opponent to spawn. <laughs> So I don't know if they patched up the spawn rate on her or what, but... Well, you know you can res... Oh, no, you, you can only res... Uh, Horses you've registered. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I got the helmets for Varuta and Vanaboris, and they're cool, but I'm also slightly disappointed. Because when they were announced, I was like, oh, hey, you know, this is pretty cool. They're obviously, you know, designed to match the thematics of the Guardian gear that you can find throughout the game. So I was like, okay, well, let's see if we can get these upgraded to level two and see what kind of set bonus they give. You know, I'm hoping, oh, maybe they'll do something like where they increase the charge time on your champion abilities that you earn through the game or something like that. Nope. 
They continue to perpetuate the ancient proficiency bonus that the uh, Guardian gear already gives you, and the helmets have their own little extra bonus on them. Like the Varuta helmet gives you swim speed up, and the Vanaboris helmet gives you a rank of shock resist. That's dumb. I mean, they, they do perpetuate the set bonus that it already exists on the ancient armor, but I would have really liked to have seen something unique on them. Is the ancient armor the one with the bucket helmet? Yes, the bucket helmet. I yep. did not like the helmet. I used the, I think the diamond circlet or something like that because it just worked better with it. Yeah, but I mean, so now you're going to have four new options if you, you know, feel like making yourself look like one of the divine beasts. Uh, the one for Vadna Boris is actually pretty cool. It gives you like this, because it's meant to look like a camel, it gives you this like long back plate along the back of the head. It looks pretty neat in my opinion. What is it? It's but, got yeah. like an hour of cooldown that you can use. Uh... Uh, I think the amiibos are on a daily thing, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure anyways, because otherwise yeah. it would not be, you know, any sort of restriction whatsoever. Run through a place, you know, just willy-nilly break all your weapons, drop a fresh set every hour. Yeah. Wouldn't work too well. I mean, I wouldn't understand like a six-hour delay or something, but a full day is fine. And that's how I think they've always worked like that is the 24 hour cooldown. Mm -hmm. I, actually, I think it's something like 20 hours, but it's whatever. Um, but yeah, outside of that, I haven't been doing too much else. Uh, yeah, work has been sucking my soul dryer even more than usual. Uh, I am scruffy as hell because it is November. Right. And so that's been entertaining. Uh, outside of that, started Christmas shopping. And that's always fun. Uh, CJ and I tried to scream Gundam Versus. Yeah, we did. Uh, tried to scream it. Our bit the dust. <laughs> hey, hey, jo hey, Josh and Kerry, you want to let me borrow that scrumptious card that you guys don't use? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hashtag Tampa Bay Circle Jerk. Uh, <laughs> right. It's I'm circular, it just like the Tampa Bay. Oh no, Tampa Bay's like a. Oh no, it's it's open on one side. It has pretty rainbows when you fly over, it, apparently. So that that's fun. What, Raul? No, TBCJ. Yeah, TBCJ. TBC. Tampa Bay Circle Jerk. So that's where your name I comes from. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called. I've been called that once. That got once that got popularized. Popularized in like the late nineties. I got called Circle Jerk a lot. Cracker Jack. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> There's a surprise inside. All right. Yeah. So Josh, uh, other than that, uh, who you? Uh, who's up next? Mm, let's pick on Raul because he looks a little distracted over there in his winter wonderland. <laughs> that is totally not Texas. You're not dressed oh. for the the weather there, Raul. No, I'm not. Uh, let's see. Play. I've I've been playing a lot of Destiny since uh, launch on the PC. It's. I, I I find it fits that like mindless grind that I've been wanting. That's just like, just relaxing. Like oh, I just pop heads. Uh, we did. I, I I did the uh, Leviathan raid, completely blind, with um, some friends from Drunk Kids Gaming. Uh, let me guess. Shoot it until it dies. Uh, more or less, but a little bit more uh, dance. Uh, we got through the first part. It took us a while. The second part, we were there for like three hours, trying because we didn't know what how the encounter went. And it was great. It was like old school WoW trying to figure out the mechanics. And, and yeah, it was just uh, like dying over and over, yes. But each time we got closer and closer to figuring out how to do this raid. And towards the end of the the, the night, we, we were able to get down like half of the raid. We just needed to work on our coordination. But yeah, it, it was a blast. Um... What else? Did, oh, did I have something else here? Oh, I was going to also, um, I've been reading the drama with uh, 
Battlefront 2? Star Wars Battlefront 2? There's a fine kettle of fish. Okay. So, oh my god. There is so much rage. Yes. And well, it's an EA game. game. What were you expecting? Fair gameplay? Yeah, I know. And I just, um, I read this the other day where arcade mode where you can collect credits to buy the loot boxes is being limited on the number of credits you can get to stop people from playing for free. Yep. To exploit just playing 60 hours on a $60 game that they... Yeah, and okay, so loot boxes are not a huge thing for me if it's cosmetic. The issue with Battlefront and other games, uh, I'm looking at you, Shadows 4, even though I love you, you're guilty of this too, putting fucking uh, stat-generated things behind loot boxes. The worst thing between the, the what makes Battlefront 2 more egregious than Shadows of War, Shadows of War is a single-player only game. Battlefront 2 is a multiplayer only game. Yeah, I mean, what was the math somebody did on it? On like, you'd have to spend yeah, over a thousand dollars. You would have to spend four thousand five hundred hours to oh. farm to, of just playing to farm up enough to get unlock everything in the game, or spend two thousand one hundred dollars. You know, you, you know, That's... my my age is showing here. Back in my day. When I bought a $60 video game, you know what I got? The whole damn game. What? That, I remember started... getting, we're getting started... Ocarina of Time brand new for 40 bucks. No. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, devil's advocate here. I'm, I'm not against like DLC and things like that. But it is. As, it, it, as long as it's extra content. Exactly. And don't do an Ashura's Wrath and make you buy the real ending to the fucking game See, uh but our game of the year possibly breath of the wild is doing a very similar thing with its dlc the uh, this, a major story arc is locked behind dlc but it's a uh, side story arc it's not the it's, main story arc but it's, it's an extension a, but it yeah. is a major thing oh what i also heard about battlefield 2 um, battle, battlefront. battlefront. Sorry, I'm getting it confused with a good game. Don't get your battlefields and your battlefront. What are you talking about? Battlefield's not a good game. It's, <laughs> it's been for ten years. Uh, Just a different coat of paint. Yeah, that's exactly. Cool. So with Battlefront, is that like the story mode, the single player, is not even complete? No, it is not. EA really screwed the pooch on this one. And did would EA not... just buy Respawn? Yep. Uh, so rip Titanfall. Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, it would not surprise me that um, Dis if Disney does not do a uh, gazillion on this one and yank away the um, the licensure away from uh, EA for for Battlefront, it will it will not surprise me if they close if they don't close that down. Disney's still getting real finicky on their licensures and this i think might have been the final nail in the coffin yeah, like i've That's I've, a I've, sin. I've i've been it hearing is. that like if it was a free to play game it would be fine yeah because you're expected from free to play because they need to generate revenue yeah or if it's just cosmetic like freaking overwatch i freaking love I'm, I'm completely okay with overwatch's skins in loot boxes because they don't matter yeah, they, don't they just make the, the characters look different. They offer an alternate fantasy to the champion you're playing. Hero, champion, whatever. Yeah. It's it's the same thing in, in League. You buy yeah. a skin, it just changes the way the character looks, and for the more expensive skins, the way your abilities act. Yeah, well, look, not heroes. act. Here, here's the storm. Exactly the same. I mean, it's just... It's because, I mean, they just want... I mean, I, I realize that games do take more to make nowadays. Triple-A games take a lot more to make. But, I mean, look at freaking Mario. This is a yeah. $60 game. And well worth is, the money. Yeah, more th worth than... And, I mean, they haven't <laughs> they even announced any DLC for... Well, Odyssey, because the game itself is enough. 
Yes. You've got more content in, in this cartridge than they have in um in whatchamacallit in, in Battlefront. I'm saying content, not file size because right. uh 4K uh graphics and all that are big sizes. Yeah. Yeah, but of actual things to do. Yeah. Fun to have. Yeah. Oh. Fun to have. Mario Odyssey. Video games should be fun to have. <laughs> It's pretty much Mario Odyssey is fun. Yeah. It's like I, I keep telling myself, no, I'm not gonna go collect all the moons, but it's fun to play. And see that that that's the thing, and I think that's one of the, the biggest successes about Super Mario Odyssey is the fact that it just shines so many spotlights on the fact No, that was that Super Mario Sunshine. Mar uh -huh. <laughs> Mario hasn't forgotten what makes the games fun. Fun. Yeah. You have other, you know, certain franchise mascot characters that have come out in recent times that have completely screwed the pooch on what people actually want from their franchises to the point that third party companies are doing a better job. <coughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I got some real crap in my throat there. Yeah. But yeah, M Mario didn't do that. Mario kept to what Mario does well and what people expect to see from a Mario game. Because, and it worked. Yes, because Nintendo is very protective of the big, what, four? Yeah. Mario, Samus, Donkey Kong, and Zelda, and Link. Yeah, and like the, the, the biggest, you know, dropping of the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the biggest fuck up Nintendo has made in terms of their primary protagonist so to speak in recent years is that metroid game that doesn't exist because we don't talk about it you mean <laughs> federation well no that, that that's just a uh, like a mini game that was decided to be made into its own thing for some stupid reason <laughs> no, i'm talking about that one that was back on the wii that we don't talk about because i i uh uh, uh um, yeah metroid happy fluffy fun ice cream that we're, one we're, we're no, about metroid. Metroid. i'm sorry what <laughs> Other M? Is that the one we're talking about? Okay, that's fine. No, that oh, we're not talking about, yes. I never played that one, so I don't know. Cancel. You're better off that way, because if you like Samus as a, you know, a strong female bounty hunter protagonist, that game will make you want to strangle someone. <laughs> okay, I've, I've <laughs> got a know. question. Um, how was the actual gameplay? Because I know the story was bad. How was the actual, like, platforming? I couldn't tell you, because I can't bring myself to touch that game. It burns to look at, I and remember. this this is a this is a game where there is a level, and this is you know one of the most condemning points in it. There is a game, there's a level in the game where you have to run through a toxic area without the power suit because the man told you not to use it. Any reason why? I mean, there might be a a, a reason, but this is Samus Aran we're talking about. The sole survivor of the Chozo culture at this point. The the badass female bounty hunter who has, you know, pretty much eradicated the Metroids. Taking, you know, shit from some guy who's some type of officer or something. And she goes through an area that would kill her, you know, pretty much if she stayed, stayed in it too long. Without the protection she would have normally taken into the situation... Because she was told to do it by a man. But she's not even part of the fair. She's a bounty hunter. She's a freelancer. Yes! Her, her game we're not talking about. I feel like we're talking a lot about it. Uh, also, Biocow makes the point in the chat that says Nintendo makes money the old-fashioned way. They sue people over IP. <laughs> <laughs> the man in air quotes, yeah. Hashtag um... facts. Hashtag I'm going to ask you, since we've had our Gamer Geek session. Oh, um, oh this, we are not done yet, my friend. You we are not done. done. Oh, this, this um, episode's just very new. Why episode. do I have a vague recollection? Recollection. 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You have a large recreation of what? Drink some more whiskey. Wait, wait. You should definitely drink some more whiskey. <laughs> whiskey. Recollection. Of a live action assassination classroom? Or is it just a fan thing that I saw? I, I'm either having the Mandela effect right now or I'm agreeing with you. I think it's one of the ones that's getting a stage play. I'm not sure. 
because th- th- there's quite a few anime that are getting that are getting stage plays as of recent. Well, no, I, I remember seeing a CGI Kuro Sensei. Mm, maybe it's getting a movie. It's hard to say. Mm. The, the the only franchise I know for sure that's getting a live action movie right now is Full Metal Alchemist, and that still looks incredible despite the the yellow washing. Which is so weird. Oh my god, so and they're mad because they they don't because want they're them. not white. Well, they're not German descent because that's where it's kind of based on. It's based on uh, German. That's why they're all blonde hair, blue eyes. Yes. All right. Anyway. All right. Um, Jared, what have you been up to? Oh, some stuff and some things. Um, mostly just been dealing with sicknesses because. Uh, Katie and Reese brought strep into our house. Oh. <laughs> Luckily, me and Bella managed to not get it, but instead, I just got like the worst sinus infection I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Uh, Which is oof. why I still kind of sound weird, but we're getting there. Uh, we're used to that. We're healing. We're getting there. Uh, and, and it's getting better. And then over the weekend, I, I finally rented and watched The Dark Tower because I've read. Over half of the books. I've read four of the books. And I was curious, even though people said bad things. And it it was uh it was fine. <laughs> like it was it was fine. It was a movie. Uh, I had like, you know, three characters from the books running around doing some stuff that kind of resembled the books. Um I trying to, to make like- take Matthew McConaughey seriously. Yeah, Idris Elba and Matthew McConaughey were good. I thought they were good, and the the kid that played Jake was fine. Um, but uh, if if you're one of those purists who like to really have everything stick to the book, I, I'd recommend not watching it. Staying far, far <laughs> away from the movie. <laughs> Run away. But I I thought it was fine. It's it's enough for a recommendation. I'd give it mm, six Tito's. Uh, just just give it a one watch. Don't don't go out of your way. Don't spend more than a couple bucks. But red box it basically. So that, watch, that's what I did. I red so boxed it. Watch the movie and then go back and read the books. Yeah, yeah. Watch the movie first, maybe. Unless I don't know, it may turn you off from the books because <laughs> the books are much better, richer and deeper. This one's very surface level. If you, know, you read, took like, yeah, they took like what ten thousand pages of story and. And made an hour and a half movie out of it. Just, Ooh, an hour just a little half. bit of condensation there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so the, the, there's a lot of things trimmed from there. But there, there's little nods here and there, too. Like, oh, look, he's using the glass orbs. And you wouldn't know that if you I hadn't read the book. Or taking a 80-something page book and making, what, three movies, four movies out of it? Three movies yeah. that were like, They're... ran for way too long that people try to force me to go to. Yeah. <laughs> what movie are you talking about? <laughs> Uh, like you know, the Hobbit. Something oh. with. Wait, is the Hobbit with... only eighty pages? Oh, it's not big. It's no. a short fucking book. Yeah, it's not a long book. It's I mean, it was for kids. Ish. Yeah, like elementary schoolers read that. That's uh, that's not a dig on the Hobbit, by the way. The Hobbit's awesome, the book, but yeah, it it is short enough that children can read it and follow it. Yeah. And they can also watch the movies and follow it too. So the Dark Tower. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all right. It was a fun little time. Uh, Katie had not read the books and she watched it with me and she said it was uh, kind of boring. So <laughs> maybe that was much easier. <laughs> but uh, it looked cool and the acting was pretty, pretty fun. I like seeing the characters in real life. Those three characters from the book, and uh, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I've been watching stuff for 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 that small screen spoiler show that we do, and uh, and I'm three episodes into Stranger Things too, which I'm enjoying uh, more than the first season so far. Yeah, you are. So some people seem to really dislike the second season. I don't understand why. At all. I mean, I I can understand CJ's perspective where he just doesn't like the franchise to begin with. Yeah, yeah. But I can't understand having watched all the way through Stranger Things, liking that, and then going into Stranger Things 2 and going, nah. 
No, I mean, I had like one guy who was just like angry about season two. Like it was like it took everything that was great about season one and, and ruined it. And I was like, no, I don't not think do so. No. <laughs> I don't think that's what was happened. he was he watching Stranger Things too, <laughs> or was he watching it? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it... so, so I'm enjoying that. Stranger <laughs> Things is good. I give it thought. Just when you get through all the episodes, I did say on the show that I was going. Rachel's interested in watching it. I'm probably going to watch. Uh, I'm going to watch it through all the way with her and see and give it another try. Um. So. Yeah, watching it with a loved one may help. I don't have anyone who will watch it with me because. My kids are too young, and Katie's too easily scared and gets nightmares. So, <laughs> <laughs> watch it with Josh. There you go. Josh is for audio listeners. Josh is like reaching out to the camera, doing like a grabby motion. Josh will be there we'll, tomorrow. We'll night. watch it with you. Yeah, sure. What's Bye. the nearest airport? <laughs> drive. It's only like eight hours. Our nearest airport is named Pi. <laughs> okay, it is. Uh, nearest airport would probably be Mobile or Pensacola. You can you can pick. Equal, equal, I'm between the two. Equidistant. They're equidistant. Equidistant. So, uh, Pensacola is pretty cheap if you fly on that Florida airline. Uh, Allegiant or the other one? No, the other one. Southwest. Like circle. Circle. That like classic it? Florida only airline. Southwest. Oh, and so, and yeah, it's a Florida-based airline. Anyway, what have you been up to, Dale? Uh, hi, hi. Uh, I I haven't mm, 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 this week. Uh, so this week's been weird. I'm not gonna get into much of that detail here because I'm gonna save that for a generic live show because it's more fitting there. Uh, tune into that Sunday at seven a.m. Eastern time. I know weird time slot. Uh, it'll be on the podcast. It'll be on the YouTube cha- YouTube's and and whatnots and the podcast. Uh, so I'll save all of my political opinions for then, because that's fun. Everyone loves it when I go on a 20-minute rant for no reason, so expect more of that. Uh, but outside of that, I'm, ex- I'm I'm planning on doing a few upgrades uh, around the office here uh, because you know I just want to do more stuff, and I can't really do that with just one laptop and pretty much nothing else, or in a microphone. So... That involves getting a new desk. I've got a new desk coming. Yay! Ooh. New desk. Fancy. It's pure. It's pure Australian pine mahogany. No, it's not mahogany. <laughs> I'm not that fancy. Jeez, I'm still trying to pay off student loans. Mahogany. That's Thank what, you. That's what the... <laughs> oh, I got. I got you, boo. That's Took what it pine up. I'm putting pine. down. Pine is the uh, student loan. Uh, Low version of mahogany. Is that how that works? Anyway, uh, but yeah, and I'm gonna, you know, it, I, I mean, it's not a new, that, sorry, better than United States student loans, where you know you can afford a desk made out of the empty ramen boxes. Ah, but here's the thing, though, it's not an entirely new desk. It's new to you. It's new to me. Uh, well, <laughs> and I'm kind of repurposing it, kind of. I'm I'm redoing it up, which involves me going to my dad's workshop and basically pulling out a sander and sanding back because some weird moron decided to paint it this awful, yucky, maroon colour thing that I don't even think exists. I'm sorry, what colour was that? (laughs) It's an Australian colour, you wouldn't understand. (laughs) It's a god-awful, maroony colour thing that I don't think exists anymore. That's the name of the colour. Wait, what was it? Take a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then, not but really that's really. the. <laughs> Asian, not by Raul. Take two drinks. <laughs> oh, I'm really drinking Dr. Pepper. Leave me alone. All right. So, uh, what was I going with that? Oh, but that's not the worst. Part. <laughs> the worst part is that underneath, when I when I sanded back that awful maroon color, it was yellow underneath. So not only did I have to strip back the awful maroon color, I just strip back the yellow color. It gets what better. That? So many color layers. <laughs> yes, please tell us what color was next down under. <laughs> oh. 
down under the desk. <laughs> What's new so many type? terrible layers of color. Go on. <laughs> so many terrible layers of color. That is definitely an accurate description of our show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the PK show. We're terrible layers of color. We're layered, okay? We're layered. There, like, there, there was only, there was only <laughs> three layers. The, the blue, there was like an awful uh, ripoff of sky blue that wasn't sky blue. Blue steel. Uh, <laughs> like a robin's egg blue or something i, I got i got um, you again josh <laughs> um still working on that magnum yep still working kinda on. kinda it's like if someone took the sky and made a copyright free version of it it was it's that <laughs> uh and drm free sky <laughs> Free sky, yes. It's exactly like right. This sounds like a p- piece of really shady software. <laughs> what DRM free uh, sky dot uh, mp4? Right. Okay. So that's the Iron Sky ripoff, right? Yes. Yeah. Anyway, so there, there's only three layers of paint. There, there's only those three layers, and I've, I've stripped all back now. I just have to go in and apply. And ladies and gentlemen, get your clips ready. I have to sit there and apply coats of Scandinavian oil on it. Are they sourced from local Scandinavians? Yes, it's it's got ten percent Scandinavians in it. Um, they've they've been they've been there's no lumps. I'll say that. Norse or Swedish though, because there's a difference in the finish. Ah. Um. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Nailed it. Oh yes. my god. <laughs> well done, Carrie. That was oh. brilliant. That was well, that was, that that was, was so good, Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> that was like, well done, Mr. Chandler. Oh. I like how you did that tonight. on my camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and the show's over. Good night, everyone. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, it's not going to get much better than that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to cancel tonight's bit, and we're just going to finish off Gadget Gadget Christmas. We're just going to be, that's going to be it. I mean, maybe if we got a nice cheese Danish up in here. <laughs> oh. mm, that like sounds good, actually. It really does sound good. We are getting cheese Danish. We <laughs> <laughs> are acquiring. Acquiring cheese, cheese Danish, please stand by. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that's going to fit in well, and it's and it's got a huge surface area. Oh my god, everything I say is not going to come out right now. Uh, it's a, a huge surface area that I can fit like a couple of monitors on, and a microphone, and cameras, and, and what have you. So it's it's going to be amazing, and that's going to kickstart my uh, December revamp. So there you go. Will um, it be the generic live desk? It'd be the generic live desk, you know, and it's it's going to be generic live wood. So have fun with that. And it's going to have uh, all the items that you can get from tinyurl.com slash generic store on it. You still had uh, a dragon generic live wood. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Did I miss something in the hotel room? I missed, mate, <laughs> no, I missed what CJ said. <laughs> Nothing what? here. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> anyway <laughs> so after that comment hey Carrie what have you been up to um well I'm nearing finals time uh, for optician school so I've been doing a lot of number one schoolwork and number two attempting schoolwork and being distracted by the internet um as you, as you do. Do. also Oathbringer by Brandon Sanderson released on Tuesday of this week. So if you follow Epic Fantasy, definitely give the Stormlight Archive series a read because it is fantastic. Um, and so I've been doing a little bit of stuff with that, not too much because aforementioned school. And do do been reading a whole lot. And that's about it, really. I uh, did my, fr- I, oh yeah, for Extra Life. I took my first attempt at being the guy in the chair. Um, I took Josh's charity stream into my hands and tried to figure out on the fly how to host a Twitch show, which resulted in me having to reboot the stream like 
70 million times because our capture card was mad at our USB 3 port. What capture something card to, do you there's have? There's something to that, by the way. It's your grumpy capture card. What, what, what capture card do you guys have? Uh, the razor rips off. Um, apparently, there's a known issue where if you have cer if you have a certain motherboard or like a certain generation of motherboard, the onboard USB three slots do not play nice with the rip saw. Ooh. Uh, um, the the solution for it is to get a PCI USB three card, which is like twenty bucks. But obviously, we couldn't really do that the day of Extra Life. Right. You have Amazon now, don't you? Yeah, but not everything is available same day. Like, oh, and even then, yeah. if you do it same day delivery, it might get there at eight p.m. In which case, we were already at the boathouse doing other stuff. The boathouse. It's fun being the guy in the chair sometimes, isn't it? It's a, it's a brave new world. Yeah, it, it, it's uh... it's yeah. But it was it was honestly a lot of fun, and I would love to do it again. There you go. This time, knowing more of what I'm doing and not blowing our audience's ears out with horrific screeching noises. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's Dale's job. It's, by the way, yes, that's that's my job. I do that every single day. Uh, also, just if, if you're going to be the guy in the chair, just make sure you properly write your Futurama questions. That's a pro tip for, for everyone involved. Just write your Futurama questions correctly. Quote it's, it's a... Beloved franchise, don't fuck with my franchise. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Indeed. Uh, so, CJ, what have you been up to? All right. Uh, it's been obvious why I yeah, picked less. Cause I have stuff to talk about. So, And it's time to uh, get a break. Yeah, pretty much. Um, <laughs> so, first of all, Nintendo Y. Uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun Ultra Moon come out today. And, and Skyrim for the Switch come out today. <laughs> oh, God. Um, so, Nintendo, why? 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 Um, so, Sega granted me a copy for review of, uh, speaking of games that Josh was grumping about earlier, Sonic Forces for the Switch. And yes, it's that game where you get to make your own Sonic OC, and now it's canon, y'all! Um, Wait, what? Yeah, you get to make your own Sonic character. It, 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 so is well, it Sonic you, you get Tales? to make your own colored Sonic head on the same body. Oh, so, uh, I thought it was had like a is, sparkly is, hat to Sonic. Is, is, is your Sonic Tails uh, love child a real thing now? Uh, no, I pretty much did what I always do, which is pick a wolf and put it into a game. Uh, ah. <laughs> um, my, my persona is not real hard to pick out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so at least it looks okay instead of the anemic bear. Yeah. Yeah. The bear looks real weird. Um, so I am a, I'm a fan of the Sonic adventure games. I, I don't mind a 3D Sonic when it's executed properly. Keyword, when. When it's, yeah. Um, Keyword, properly? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, Keyword Sonic Adventure... Game. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, I love, love, love Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Uh, Sonic Colors was pretty damn good. Uh, Sonic Heroes I enjoyed a lot. Um... The Sonic the Hedgehog game can die in the worst fire ever created. Um, the where Hedgehog thing, I barely got through one level of. Uh, <laughs> and, you didn't give it time to unleash its full potential. No, I did not. Uh, because the first level was all nigh unplayable. <laughs> I, I am a huge unapologetic fanboy of all things Sega. Um, so I jumped into Sonic Forces. I'm like, all right, cool. So I made my wolf character. Sonic controls like a dream in the first stage. He controls just like classic Sonic Adventure Sonic. I'm, I'm okay with this. Um, second level, you, you get to clear, you control your OC, which is like that weird, bad Sonic. Uh, Shout out the Hedgehog game that came out a few years ago. <laughs> Where uh, you get gun. You spec into gun. You do gun. <laughs> 
Um, and it's it's and then so all right does anybody care if i spoil if i spoil this game what spoil sonic forces yes all right so well, internet may be upset with you i don't know no, whatever so spoiler this, warning yeah spoiler alert spoiler warning for sonic spoiler Forces. Spoiler warning spoiler lord 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 warning spoiler dot uh, warning Yes, uh, the storyline's actually pretty good and dark as fuck. If you like, and if you like edgy protagonists for the sake of being edgy, um, the Infinite is for you. Voiced by Liam O'Brien, uh, who I am proud to say I am a friend. He is my friend. Um, so, it the the main the main character is obviously a the same this by the same people that created Reaper for Overwatch. <laughs> which being said it's an okay character if you're into edgy things which i am but i am always a god 90s kid so yes give me edgy uh, uh so they go into a point where they torture sonic and everything like that and you get villains like chaos from the the sonic adventure games and uh from sonic forces that weird devil dude and shadow wait why is shadow a villain we'll get to that uh <laughs> and metal sonic and everything like that so everybody likes chaos chaos is a good villain uh three levels later uh og sonic for sonic generations shows up and gets him in one fight in one hit and you don't even get to fight you don't even get to fight chaos um so yeah sonic from sonic generation shows up too and uh i'll give sonic this uh, you know, witty banter, chili dog Sonic comes up to OG, not talking Sonic, and goes, "It's been generations since I've seen you." Wah, wah, wah. Oh. I'm like, you know he what? Really blew that okay. one. I'm okay with that one. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Um, so unfortunately, though, things kind of start to unravel a little bit when you, um just play the game more and it ramps up in difficulty to a point where it is absolutely absurd and like needs pixel perfect timing on jumps and everything like that. Um, not pixel perfect. Like if you are, if you are one pixel too short, too far away, you go into a pit, you go too far, you land in spikes. Um, and sometimes the homing jump just doesn't work on Sonic. Yeah. And it quite often doesn't work on your OC. Oh, <laughs> Because they decided a new mechanic with it, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it is no Sonic Mania. Um, but if you, it, it is a passable Sonic Adventure game if that's what you wanted. Um, I'm gonna give it a two out of five. Wow, it's not it, Jesus. Whoa, uh, it ouch. makes the wheels fall off the bus. Apparently, it's not. It's not, it's not bad. It's not good. It's just kind it of. It could there. have been much better. It could have been much better. Yes. And it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, it could. Yeah. Oh, yes. It could have been infinitely worse. Um, could have been Sonic Boom. It could have been Sonic Boom. Yes. There's could a reason been, why. Uh, there's the a reason why I didn't bring that one up, Josh. Thanks. For <laughs> the correct title of that game is Sonic Boom 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 in my room. That's, uh, I. Uh, that's wait. What? That. What are you doing with Sonic? Bang. I'm sure there's at least one fanfic titled that. Oh, yeah. oh I'm sure. Um, but yeah, at least they got back to the original design, well, the adventure designs of the characters. So, I mean, it's not weird legs for days, Knuckles. <laughs> like, I don't even care about the legs for days on Knuckles. It's the fucking, you know, chest three times the size of the other character yeah. models. The, the Rob Liefeld. Uh, yes, design. that's exactly what it is. It's Rob Liefeld knuckle. <laughs> Um. So yeah, two out of five. It could have been. It could. It could have been a lot better, but it could have been a lot Just worse. Killed Jazz over there. <laughs> um. So next game I've been given for review is Demon Ga Demon's Gaze Two from Nipponichi for the PlayStation Four. Uh, you remember how last week I was uh, ranting and raving about how how much I liked Etrian Odyssey, even though it's a first person dungeon crawler reminiscent of old eighties games. Mm hmm. Uh, you remember a little bit ago where I was ranting and raving that I love most every game that Nipponichi puts out? Oh, no. Demon Gaze is not that game. Demon Gaze is not that fucking game at all, you guys! 
Uh, oh no. 60 minute review. This game fucking sucks. The uh, the audio is bad. The voice actors are bad. The gameplay is bad. The magic system is bad. The spawning system is bad. The Pokemon system is is, is bad. This game gets a 0. 0.5 out of 5 strictly because it loaded the first time I played it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. I yeah, well done, Demon's Gaze. Uh, no. And like, show us on the doll where the demon's gaze touched you. And it's like, and, and thankfully they walk you through through a two-hour tutorial. Okay. Uh, At previous, least it's not a twenty-hour from Final Fantasy twenty thirteen. Uh, thirteen. True. Uh, previously on Demon's Gaze, hey, this happened. Now you're this person that never existed before, but these characters existed before. But you never existed before, but you've been their childhood friends. Um, it's just, it's not good. It is not good, and I promptly uninstalled it from my PlayStation 4. It is not worth my freaking 20 gigs or whatever it is. Like, it's... 20 yeah. For the record, yes, I did have that um, music queued up. Just I figured. Say. It's just, it is not good at all. And while I'm playing it, I got through the tutorial up until the point where they actually released me into the game, because I'm like, I, I am going to give this tutorial a fair shake. I am going to get through to the point where they release me to the world, and I will see how that goes. I will complete the first dungeon. I completed the first dungeon and uninstalled the game. Gee. Um, so yeah, Demon's Gaze Two. It might be better for the PlayStation Portable because Etrian Odyssey had the thing going for it where I could play it anywhere. The PlayStation Four, as what I'm going to talk about in my next game, is worth is it can have so much more going for it. Um, so yeah. Um, also, speaking of games that are real bad, don't play Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Um, I red boxed it. I'm so glad I didn't buy it because that game is hot. Um, okay. Wait, let's, let's I see. bought it because I wanted to play with you, CJ. I sincerely hope you are being sarcastic. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank yeah, that's my excuse. I mean, it God. looked okay. Oh, God, no, it didn't. <laughs> Did you see the way Ryu, Ryu looked? Did you see the way every character the, looked? You got Rob Liefeld, Captain America back with his giant ass shoulders and his big ass chest. I love Captain America's giant fuck off no, chest. No, it is bad. It looks bad. It sounds bad. It's not a good game. Shoulders. Shoulders is one. No. <laughs> not Captain America's boobs. That's the one. <laughs> it did do something for me. It got me uh, probably buying uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, <laughs> which is a legitimately good game. It'll so, work. Bravo, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, for making me buy your predecessor. Uh, can we get another Capcom vs. SNK? <laughs> right? Yes. I mean, so SNK has been doing better, apparently, according to reports, ever since it was bought up by that Chinese mobile game company. Uh, and also released their entire catalog to the Switch, which apparently just did gangbusters. Um, Wait, something doing well on the Switch? There's a shock. Um, and so, <clears throat> remember how I said the PS4 was worth so much more and could put out so much better power? I present to you Gundam Versus. <laughs> uh, by the way, I'm going to give Marvel vs. Capcom a 1 out of 5. It was worth an hour worth of drinking with my wife. <laughs> um, so Gundam Versus Josh and I played for a little bit after I figured out my capture card doesn't die uh, first ding on Gundam Versus it has no PS4 native streaming for some dumb reason it's probably because of licensed music but nevertheless um, because whenever you pick a Gundam it plays their uh, title theme for you good for good or for bad <laughs> Gundamu. Raise your flag! Uh, <laughs> uh, I hate the original Gundam theme, and there's a reason why I main Barbatos. <laughs> I've played that game a lot more since Josh and I played, and uh, it is so much fun. It, it has a learning curve, though. Like, <laughs> Don't button mash, kids. Yeah, don't, don't button, button mash, mash because you end up dash canceling your own moves. And when you're going for a, an attack and you just suddenly jump forward because you hit the button twice because urge to button mash growing. <laughs> like, why am I not attacking? How many times did you hit triangle? Twice. <laughs> <laughs> twice. Um, it's, it's good once you get into it. Um, the, it, it's, it is really good once you get into it. <laughs> Uh, so, Gundam versus 
three and a half out of five. Learning curve's a bit steep, and there's a lot of things locked strictly behind paywalls. I can't ever get Barbatos 2 unless I pay five bucks for him. But at least you're not paying 30 to get a pack of Gundams and you only want one out of that pack. Yeah, that's true. That, that, I will give them the fact that they piece, they put them out piecemeal so you can buy whichever ones you want. Um, unfortunately... G Gundams win. G Gundams win. Right. Um, that'll, pay, that'll pay 30 bucks for if I need to because my favorite Gundams are in that one. Um, <laughs> um, I might you buy know what that game also needs? What? Oh, hey, Big Zam. God. You know you know what else it needs? Gundam seed. <laughs> oh. Babby, Babby uh, Chibi Gundams. I need Babby Chibi, Chibi Gundams. Do you remember it was an old PlayStation 2 game? Uh, it was a Gundam. Gundam Battle Assault 2. Yes. Where you could play as the Big Zam and damage your opponent just by walking across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I freaking loved the... Um, I think it was the Zaku with the 180 millimeter because you would just see the dot boom destroy it. <laughs> uh Ra rachel was playing it rachel schooled both myself and josh in that game by the way she just picked it up and said hey let me play i'm like all right play and i'm like here's occasionally a button she goes i got this <laughs> i got this. next thing in josh can't beat her i play uh, like i probably can't beat you <laughs> I'm playing online over and over again, losing, losing, losing. She picks up her favorite butterfly Gundam lady and just like, yep, I won three games in a row. F you, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. That's how you do it. All right. And so this is a woman who only button mashes games. So is this just from the universe of Century? What? I'm Gundam? pretty sure it's got them from across the spectrum. Yeah. I mean, it's got Universal Century. It's got Gundam Wing in it. It's got... Yeah. Iron Blood. Some of the, uh, some of the side Iron stuff, has, like yeah. uh, Crossbones, which isn't anything outside of a manga right now. I uh, a Gundam! <laughs> I picked it because it has Kai in the name. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's my game talk for the for the night. Um, at work, that's my, that's my thing. At work, uh, we're playing around with Amazon Redshift, and that's a fun uh, new database for me to learn. Uh, Ooh. Yeah. And we're uh, I'm currently right. doing research on Amazon Aurora, which is another fun uh, fun new thing to learn. Um, my 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 new job is all in on the AWS thing, so they're like, "Hey, Amazon's offering us this discount to go full Amazon," and I'm like, "Okay, I will. Uh, I absolutely know these." <laughs> no, no, my, my bosses and uh, hi Ryan. Uh, <laughs> no, hi Ryan. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing research on Amazon Aurora and them right now. Uh, Redshift's actually pretty easy to pick up and run with, and it runs like a dream. So, you know what doesn't run like a dream? My capture card that died. No. Oh. Can, can, can we have a funeral card. for it? Will you bury it out back? Uh, I right. got through it through my window. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to just bury electronics but, in red. But it's an <laughs> Elgato. It'll just land on its feet. No, it's Ooh, not an Elgato. Window, CJ. It's not an Elgato. So it's uh, it's a uh, StarTech one that they gave me for review, and I've had problems with it since day one, and I got it working for a while, and since after Extra Life, it has bit it, and I cannot get it to work, and I've done everything but take the damn thing apart, and I'm yeah. not mad. Um... So I think Good thing you got it for free. <laughs> yeah, I got it for free. Um, again, Nintendo, why? Why do you hate me? Uh, <laughs> so we are now an hour into the show. It's time for a mid-show break. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Right wow. Um. So actually, yeah, we're just gonna head into the second half of the show. Oh, okay. Um. Mm, hey. Hey. Um. Mm. I'm not ready. Cue the sparkles. All right. Fine. All right. So we are going to. Uh, oh. So Caleb hired out a, co a cover of Look What You Made Me Do, and it's actually really good, unlike her Simple Pop song. So, um, we'll play that since not ready. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready now, but. All right. Too late. I've already queued. I've already I went into All the thing. I'm just a bit weird. All right. I'll be back. Stay tuned.
your little games don't like your tilted stage the role you made me play fool no i don't like you i don't like your perfect crime how you laugh when you lie you said the gun was mine was it cool no i don't like you but i got smarter i got hotter in the nick of time when me i rose up from the dead i do it all the time i've got a list of names and yours is in red underlined i took it once then i checked it twice so oh, oh look what you made me do look what you made me do look what you just made me do look what you just made me do look what you made me do look what you made me do I don't like your kingdom keys. They once belonged to me. You asked me for a place to sleep. Locked me out and threw a beast. The world goes on another day, another drama, drama. But not for me, not for me. All I think about is karma. But when the world moves on, it's one thing for sure. Baby, I got mine, but you'll all get yours. But I got smarter, I got harder in the nick of time. When me, I rose up from the dead. I do it all the time. I got a list of names, and yours is in red underlined. Once that I checked it twice, so oh, look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you just made me do. Look what you made me do. Look what you made me do. I don't trust nobody, and nobody trusts me. I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams. I don't trust nobody, and nobody trusts me. I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams. I don't trust nobody and nobody trusts me. I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams. I don't trust nobody and nobody trusts me. I'll be the actress starring in your bad dreams. song was playing <laughs> and we're settle back. down settle down settle down spotify <laughs> um, oh man i love caleb's music so much and again people make it songs to make me like songs that i don't like which i guess is what covers are for exactly what is it cj you uh, don't like um friends on the other side no, I love, well, no, I'm not to say that. I love Friends on the Other Side. I'm just saying songs like that, which I don't, I don't like the original "Look What You Made Me Do" at all. Do you it's like, not just a Taylor Swift. Oh, no, so. Do you like the original uh, "Wrecking Ball"? Or do you just like Shy Guys cover of "Wrecking Ball"? Uh, pretty much Shy Guys cover of "Wrecking Ball." <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I can't say that I enjoy Miley Cyrus's music. <laughs> <laughs> no, not particularly. Uh, her, yeah, her older, her older stuff's tolerable, like uh, "Party in the USA." What about when she puts the wig on and it's Hannah Montana? <laughs> oh, girl, don't even. <laughs> oh, girl, don't even. Oh, oh. Um, Hannah, it, it, Hannah, right. my, there's a Hannah's part. Pajama. There, there, there's a scene in uh, Zombieland. Where the little girl is explaining to Woody Harrison, like, yeah. no, she's only Hannah Montana when she puts the wig on. <laughs> yes, it was that 
All right, so it's time for a... Oh. All right. I'm it's glad you still button. use the Bud Long version. Yeah, of course I will. He still has to be on the show. Uh, so this is this is the part of the show where we kind of play around until we get tired. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> so really ah, good until we get tired. Okay, then good night, everybody. <laughs> good night, everyone. Dude, dude, dude. All right. Uh, so. I, a huge thank you to uh, Kieran Bruton for sending me this, the idea of today's game. Again, if you want to send me uh, an idea or a, an actual full game, uh, you can do so at geekioshow at gmail.com or you can send it directly to me at dale at geek-io.net. So do you remember the uh, short-lived Twitter fad, explain a, fl- a f- <laughs> explain a film plot badly? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. We all remember that. Uh, you could rest assured that this hard-hitting game is 100% dissimilar than that. And it's not ex- at all the same as that. Because why would we do that? Why would we... Wh- why on earth would we rip something off? All the best people oh. do. Oh, but but hang on. It's now pretty it's much... time for the geek. <laughs> no. The movie smacked out update. I mean, what? What? That's, that's huh? a bit hey, Dale, wow. Dale interrupting Dale. This, this is fun. Uh, yeah, this big. game is this game is similar. Uh, but instead of film plots, uh, we've taken some video games that have been released in 2017. It's going to be it's a video game heavy episode today, folks. I'm so sorry. Uh, and it's I'm your not. job. To t- I'm sorry. I'm not. Oh. Oop. 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 This is lag, apparently. Uh, so, yeah, we've taken uh, some video games that have been released this year, and it's your job to tell me what the game I'm describing is. Uh, uh, so, and we're going to do this one a little bit differently than what I have been doing. Uh, it's going to be a kind of, quote-unquote, hands-on buzzers situation. Uh, so you're going to buzz in with your name uh, when you know the answer. Uh, be aware, once you buzz in, however, you cannot buzz again and I'll read the description again for the people remaining. Okay. Pretty simple. Well, Not simple. Yeah, there you go. We got a cheer. Jazz is cheering silently. This is my cheer. I'm out of there other cheers to give. Cheers. All right. Is that so everyone understands uh, the buzzers? Cheers. Right. Do we need? Do we need to uh, do the do a test run of the buzzers? <clears throat> nope. No. Okay. Uh, so, so what's my name? Uh, your name would be... Oh, you can buzz in with Jazz if you like. Okay. Alright. Oh. So not Kevin McGillicuddy? What's... No, I mean, if you want to buzz in with Kevin McGillicuddy, you can. <laughs> uh, you just won't get acknowledged. Uh, you have to wait for me to say your name, too. So, And it's whoever I hear first on my end. So this, so this is going to Australia. We'll see how this works. <laughs> right. Buzzers across the sea. Uh, we've got an example question, though, to, to get warmed up. Alright, so... This collection of impromptu mini games that utilize the latest generation's console features is any Raul. anti-social. Raul. Uh, Mario Party. Incorrect. Uh, this collected this collection of impromptu mini games that utilize the latest generation console features is any anti-social person's worst nightmare. CJ. CJ. Nipper clips. Incorrect. Oh. Chaz, Carrie, and Josh, any idea? I'm trying to remember what that launch game was. Carrie. Carrie. One, two, switch. One, two, switch is correct. That's the one. Uh, Oh, I was about to say (laughs) Jackbox. I was thinking of it, but I could not for the life of me remember the name. Oh, we hadn't played Jackbox in a while. We need to do that again. That was fun. There you go. We do love jacking it on this show. Especially in Tampa right. Bay. This is in Tampa Bay. Only in Tampa oh, Bay. TBCJ, take, take a drink. <laughs> take a drink. Oh, God. <laughs> that way I was plastered all the time when I was in America. Anyway, moving on. All right, so 
The, no, no it's points. Had an that awesome one. geek bar up the street. Exactly. Well, that isn't. Uh, so no points on that one, unfortunately. That was just an example. So let the, let the games the, begin. The one time I may, I get points on your show, Dale. You can get oh, points. It's fine. You, you came <laughs> second last time. Uh, anyway, so question one: This platforming game is the greatest hits of the classic original. It features various mammal. Josh. Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is correct. Right, question two. This live action role playing game sees a hunter and an archer leading us through one giant generic post apocalyptic movie while occasionally killing enemies known as machines. Raul. Raul. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Correct. All right. <laughs> so everyone's going competitive. Everyone's just. Uh... <laughs> Right. Yeah. Anyway. This game. There you go. <laughs> this game, based on a famous TV show, dumps you in a world of privilege and expects you to deal with it. Can we have that one more time, please? Sure. This game, based on a famous TV show, dumps you in a world of privilege and expects you to deal with it. Raul. Uh, wow. Well, uh, Kim Kardashian's uh, fashion runway model? <laughs> it is not Kim Kardashian's <laughs> fashion runway model. <laughs> Unfortunately. Any ideas? Jazz? Jazz. That Kim Kardashian game? <laughs> It's not that. It's not Steve Kardashian's famous runway model. Uh, giving up? CJ. CJ. Kim Kardashian 3. <laughs> Colin. Colin. Uh, Colin. Not, not in the America because that's banned. Bigger <laughs> Botox or an uncut? No, <laughs> it is not Kim Kardashian. <laughs> More Botox and uncut. No, <laughs> friend. No, by account. No, it is not friends. The game. It is not friends. The video game. <laughs> Should be. Should be. All right. It is South Park: The Fractured Butthole. Oh. This is this year, by the way. 2017. All of these are from this year. Oh, good lord. I'm going to fail this. <laughs> yeah, Jazz is out. I don't play right, games. Like quiz that Jazz will not win. All right. Less than 10 years old. Right, and some of these are a little bizarre, so I don't expect you to get all of this. All right, question four. This adventure game sees the player, cleverly known as Avatar, transported into a mysterious world where there are, of course, new creatures to be found. CJ. CJ. Sonic Forces. <laughs> no, no, it is not Sonic Forces. Can we get it this again? one's a little? This one's a little bizarre. Uh, this adventure game sees p the player, clearly known as Avatar, transported into a mysterious world where there are, of course, new creatures to be found. Jazz, jazz, Pokemon Sun and Moon. Think no. It came out last year. Dang it. Okay. It came out last year. <clears throat> I don't know. Uh, it is birthdays, colon, the beginning. That one's a little oh. bizarre. Yeah. It's another Nippon Ichi game. There you go. Really? It's very adorable, that game, too. It is. It's, it's quite adorable. Uh, this, know, next one, this next one I don't like, but we'll run with it anyway. Question five. The latest installment of this game franchise... Nudge. Host bias... What? Judge host bias. No. <laughs> yeah, the host bias of me saying this thing is bad. All right. Uh, Josh. Let... Josh. It's Wolfenstein. It is not Wolfenstein. <laughs> sorry, I didn't hear you buzz. If you sorry if you buzzed before, I didn't. I didn't catch it. All right, I so... see what you did there, Josh. And I fucking love you for it. Well done. I I don't know if Wolfenstein. I owe you a fucking drink, good sir. 
<laughs> that is on the record, by the way. Uh, the latest installment of this game sees your favorite characters taking on each other in some on-road and off-road adventures. Raul? CJ? CJ. That weird-ass Cartoon Network racing game? <laughs> no, it is not Kim Kardashian. No, I'm just kidding. Wow. Kim Kardashian uh, is off-road racing. <laughs> Sorry, Raul. What was your answer? Mario Kart. Eight. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, correct. Ah. Uh, yeah, that was a little half bait. All right. Cock a doodle do! This open world game enables you to immerse yourself and makes connections between what we eat, how we live, the planet we live on, and what it's like to wear flannel all year round. Jazz. Jazz. Ah, oh, damn it! What? Stardew Valley. Incorrect. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Oh! <laughs> DJ. Uh, 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 um, Goat Simulator. <laughs> oh, you are yeah. extremely close, but I can't give it to you. Carrie. Uh, Carrie. Farm Simulator? Farming Simulator 18. I'll give you that one. <laughs> well, Stardew well Valley done. is kind of like that, but just more dating sim. And I can't believe I had to read cock a doodle doo out of live on the internet. Anyway. Moving along. This role playing game. I'm sorry. I can. Uh, you can? Oh, Jesus. All right. It's going to uh, It's gonna come back and hold me. All right. Yeah, this role playing game brings the adventure of a modern Japanese high school student. Sorry. Let me, read, let me read that again. This role playing game brings the adventure of modern Japanese high school students to the forefront. Oh. Carrie. Carrie. Persona 5. That is Persona 5. Oh. I, lo I love BioCow's uh, Farmville Portland. <laughs> Farmville Portland. <laughs> you can start your microbrewery. So there you go. It's exciting. I don't know. Or Oregon, they're doing some completely different grows nowadays. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you can make them into that. alcohol. Can, can you? I, I'm I mean, pretty sure there's at least one beer out there now that's hopped with hemp. Somebody's oh. trying it, at the very least. We don't know how successful they are being, but somebody out there, either home brewing or micro brewing, is trying it. Oh, absolutely. Well, that, nothing I don't to, uh, think like, that would work because I believe alcohol is federally regulated. I mean, if it's home brew, who is regulating you? True, but like if True. you actually try and sell it commercially in Oregon, you would not be able to, right? Correct. Yeah, no, this, well. this country has a long and proud history of illegally selling liquor to each other, so you know. All right, moving off that train of thought. All right, let's move on. <laughs> moving off illegally selling alcohol. Uh, question A. This game is the reimagining of Go Go Gadget for a new generation as people battle each other Raul. to find out the ultimate fight. Raul. What is. Oh my wrong, god. Wrong game, bro. You don't have to answer. <laughs> <laughs> what is. Oh my god is not the answer. No. CJ. CJ, CJ, CJ. CJ, CJ. CJ, you oh. first. Arms is correct. Oh my god. Why did I go blank on that? Holy <laughs> shit. It's not Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Are you got to hand it to you? Apparently, there is. Apparently, sorry, breaking news. Oh, According boy. to Yazyek7 in the chat room, uh, there is such thing as hemp ale. Ah, all right. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, where is it brewed? Good, good job, Yazyek7. <laughs> Yazyek7. What happened to the rest of you? <laughs> all right. Yeah, probably Portland. It's a California band. A California beer. California. What? Well, California <laughs> band? This is my surprise face, you guys. <laughs> hey, let's get in contact with Andy and see if he can uh, send us all some uh, hemp. I wonder if they have it on tap at Nugs and Jugs. Nugs ah! and Jugs! Oh my god! There's the a only back. thing that's on tap. Call back! Call oh back! That is, is your amazing. arm tired from reaching for that callback? <laughs> oh, not with Coco Gadget arms, no. <laughs> Whoop, just reach on the rabbit. All right, question nine. Oh, there you go. 
this real-time strategy game where you can control your army to victory, hopefully, unlike its predecessor, you can now play as a human or as a totally original alien race. The game can be played with a gamepad or using a mouse and keyboard. Raul? Raul. Halo Wars 2? Halo Wars 2 is correct. Holy shit. Wow. I don't know where that came from. And this is Halo this is Wars the chief of the <laughs> This is the chief of the game is the next part of that summary, but yeah. Glad you got it without it. That was that was I'm wow, okay, I'm impressed about that one. Alright. Number ten. This 3D platformer sees one of the most famous characters of all time with a new and quite frankly odd companion Raul. on an adventure. Raul? Mario Odyssey. Mm. Super Mario I'm Odyssey. Feeling generous. I'm feeling generous. I'll give you that one. Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, the, the full description was, this 3D platformer sees one of the most famous characters of all time with a new and quite frankly odd companion on an adventure through different worlds to rescue his girlfriend from an actual monster. Yeah, Super Mario Odyssey. I'm staring at it right now. <laughs> yeah, no, no, that would... <laughs> Ooh, yeah, right. I, found an, I found another moon. I mean, what? <laughs> oh, hmm. <laughs> yeah, another moon question. Right, gotcha. All right, next one. This survival horror game depicts a camping trip Gone awry. CJ. CJ. Uh, frick. Um, Friday the Thirteenth. Friday the Thirteenth is correct. Yay. Kim Kardashian's three. No, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can right. we have a mod that replaces the campers with the Kardashians? <laughs> right. That would be that would be amazing. And then everyone fights over who gets to be the killer. <laughs> <laughs> but it has to be it has to have microtransactions this game though. <laughs> of course. It has to have microtransactions. Oh, <laughs> right? Are, are you guys looking oh. at the chat? Oh, oh yeah yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'm seeing all of that. That's, that's Oh, fun. it's beautiful. You buy them in bulk. Uh, Patreon.com slash Kikayo. Anyway, uh, the 25th installment in this sports simulation game franchise allows you to play and or customize your favorite sports team in more ways Gosh. than any Josh. Is it Madden 18? It is not Madden 18. Yay. Gary. CJ. FIFA 18. It is FIFA 18. Because you can make your own character now. Yeah, yeah, because that's new and innovative. Yeah. The original character oh, do not feel. Years. <laughs> Actually, this okay. okay I'm going to read the full description, and this is how unenthused I am. This 25, the 25 installment of this sports simulation game franchise allows you to, allows you to play and or customize your favorite sports teams in more ways than ever before, as they kick a ball around even more in exciting fields over and over again. <laughs> Judge host bias. The <laughs> judge host bias. <laughs> I'm you pretty sure that. At, well, okay. At least half of the people on screen right now are biased against FIFA. So. <laughs> well, this is the interesting. Last, the last sports game I enjoyed playing was NBA Jam on the SNES. Uh, <laughs> that was the only NFL one, right? Blitz on the 64. He's on fire. Yeah, He's NFL. on fire. Dunk and awesome. shatter that backboard. Uh, <laughs> then un unlock big head mode. Yes. Unlock big with head Bill, mode. With Bill Clinton. It, it was, was a thing. Fantastic. It was a thing. With Bill Clinton. Oh, God. <laughs> at that. It was a thing. Uh, boy. All right. Sticking with the sports theme, though. Oh, boy. This particular sports game allows you to practice your skills versus up to three other people and take your amazing dribbling and slam dunking skills online with characters that look less realistic and more like bubble heads. Bubble heads, rather. CJ. CJ. Um, NCAA 18? No. Raul. Well, 
uh, NBA. Oh my god, it's the one where it's like they're out on outside courts and all that. Three on three jam. Thought... What was that answer again? Three on three uh, NBA jam. No, it is not NBA. Oh my god, what is it called? Three on three jam. No, it is not called that. I don't think Raul appreciates your sarcasm, Neil. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I apologize. What is something by EA? Um, I actually don't know who made this. <laughs> uh, I know it's a real thing, but I can't remember who made it. All right. Uh, so we've got uh, Jazz, Kerrigan, Josh remaining, I believe. Can I have it one more time? Sure, he says, not in that window. Uh, sticking with the sports theme, this sports game allows you to practice your skills versus up to three other people. Take your amazing dribbling and slam dunking skills online with characters that look less realistic and more like bobbleheads. Jazz? Jazz. What is we sports? <laughs> what is not what is we sports? Oh wait, I'm not supposed but to answer. What is we sports? <laughs> Seriously though, what that is the last sports game I enjoyed? We right? sports was bad. At oh, we'll get to that. I can think of, but I don't think one released this year. Yeah, Rao was very close, hence my sarcasm. All Josh, right. you want to take this one? I got nothing. I mean, I'm yeah, probably one of the least likely to look at a sports ball game here. I <laughs> know. Oh, this, this double double sports up must be murdering you. Uh, it is NBA Playgrounds was the name of that game. Oh. It's the only sports oh, ball. that one. I yeah. Oh, that one. one that you will know. Okay. That old chipper. Uh, all right. Uh, next up. This role-playing game brings those annoying little characters that you created back on the Wii, speaking of the Wii, to life as they bandy together to fight forces of evil. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I know this one, because my manager kept telling me to play it. <laughs> Don't know why. Josh? Josh. Meavers? Close, but not quite. Oh, CJ. CJ. I didn't think it came out last year. Uh, Metopia. Metopia is correct. correct. Oh shit! That came out last. Did it came out this year? <clears throat> that came out this year. According to according wow. to my sources, that came out this year. According to BuzzFeed, yeah. it came out this year. No, it's not according <laughs> to BuzzFeed. It didn't come out this year. <laughs> All right. Yes, that came out according to my sources. My sources could be incorrect, but. We'll go with that. Right. Next up. The latest installment of this action-adventure video game series follows the adventures of a little elf boy. Or Josh. Sometimes Josh. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. That is correct. Hooray. Uh, yeah. hey, hey, Jazz, is your buzzer working there, buddy? Uh, can we... <laughs> There's <laughs> play games that are you know less than ten years old. So yeah, like, right. uh, this weekend I played uh, um, Wind Waker. <laughs> like I told you, this 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 jacket turns me into a douche. This just, just saying. That's <laughs> me into a douche. I'm sure it smells nice though. Um, it does smell nice actually. I don't know why, uh, uh, or how probably. That's probably the <laughs> laundry detergent. All right. Oh boy, this next description is it's f was written very vaguely, unlike the rest of them. Uh, all right, this free-to-play collectible card game, based off a popular action role-playing game, allows you to build a deck of cards. CJ. CJ. Went. Ah, it's incorrect. <laughs> God, do I have to start this again? This free-to-play collectible card video game, based off a popular action role-playing game, allows you to build a deck of cards to ultimately beat your opponent. The cards are divided into four types. Support cards, which provide ongoing benefits. Action cards, which are uh, efforts that are instantaneously played. Creatures, 
which are the main method of conducting combat, and items, which enhance creatures. Uh, Jazz? Jazz. Boss monster? Boss monster is incorrect. Huh. Raul. Raul. Uh, Elder Scrolls? The card game? Oh, I would need its proper title. What is it called? Oh... <laughs> Just oh, online would to search to, for more one money. Have to guess, one would have to be legendary to guess this one. Oh, it is El not Elder Scrolls Scroll. Legends. No, Judge is ruling on that one. Yeah, I'll give it to Ral. It is, it is Elder Scrolls Legends. <laughs> you did the heavy lifting on that one. No one else buzzed in after you, so I'll, I'll give you that one. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, this one might actually land me in some hot water, so we'll go from here. It's not about Futurama. Uh, this Futurama <laughs> game. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this actually might Futurama land me. Futurama mobile game. Actually, CJ might actually legitimately yell at me for the question 17, uh, but we'll play on anyway. Uh, these role playing video games released simultaneously continues the adventure of a group of teenagers forcing local wildlife into Raul. servitude. Conduct well. Pokemon Sun and Moon. Mm -hmm. DJ! Gosh. DJ! DJ! Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Pokemon uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. CJ gets it. <laughs> Just remember, Raul, you got a plus ultra. You have to go plus ultra! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, because I'm not paying attention to the chat all the time, I'm just seeing over. It is not Biocow, it is not We Die. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to imagine this lined up. <laughs> right. Uh, all right, question 18. The latest installment of this fantasy role playing video game applies a fresh coat of paint on an existing 2006 game. Carrie. In... Carrie? Uh, the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for the Switch. No. No, that game came out in 2011. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, the latest installment of this fantasy role-playing game applies a fresh coat of paint on a 2006 game in which the player directly controls the on-screen character from a third-person perspective to interact with people, objects, and enemies in a large, open fantasy world. Josh. Josh. Uh, Final Fantasy 12 HD? Mm. Ah, give it to him. It is Final <laughs> Fantasy twelve. That's not the subtitle, though. Do you want to have another swing at the subtitle? Isn't it something it. with the Zodiac? Bloody body blah. Mm, yeah, I'll give you that. It's Final Fantasy twelve, the Zodiac Age. I just needed the word Zodiac. Apologies. Uh, Final the Fantasy Zodiac bloody blah. blah. <laughs> I like the Zodiac bloody blah, blah better though, to be honest. Right. I mean, that was like one of my least favorite, you know, Final Fantasies after seven. Alright. Question nineteen. This music game allows you to make a fool of yourself in front of your friends as you attempt okay. to boogie out CJ? Rock band. Incorrect. This Gary. music Carrie? Just Dance 2017? Just Dance 2017 is correct. Oh, oh we've gotten that one. Oh, yeah, well. that game's been out for a while, too, Jess. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the first Just Dance. Just Dance came out, like, you know, 10 years ago, probably. Oh, Just I'm Dance so 2017 sure. came out in 2007. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let's do the time warp again. All right. uh, I'm half tempted to just... To the left. I just to slide to the right. Step to the right. Step to the right. Oh, go on, I'm going to be prosecuted. All right. <laughs> I'm half tempted to not use this last question as a tiebreaker between CJ and Lau, but more so as just a free swing for, ja uh, for Jazz. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm so bad that you haven't got one. I feel like I know the answer to this one. <laughs> you might. You might. The answer uh, might have already been said this game. <laughs> no, it hasn't been. Oh, <laughs> that would be that would be awesome, wouldn't it? If I just did the same question twice but with different well, no, description. No, not the, the answer hasn't been correct this game, but it has been uttered this game. 
No, it hasn't. Free swing to Jazz. Jazz has literally only played one game in the last 10 years. All right, Jazz, here you go. Is 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 a, is a, is a almost a freebie for you. Almost a freebie? All right. This collection of games will transport you instantly back into the afternoons of your childhood and re- ah. re- relive these magic moments. That was a tongue twister. Do you want me to read that again? <laughs> relive these magic moments. Uh... <gasps> Woo! <clears throat> what? Is it you enjoyed that? Oh, man, yeah. What is... <laughs> Why do I keep paying <laughs> The question. <laughs> DuckTales Remastered? Ooh, that's a... Mm, Come on. That's a part of it. Uh, the Disney Collection Remastered Fun Time Happy Fluffy <laughs> Ice Cream? So close. I don't know. Uh, name a time of the day that is after midday. The Disney oh. Afternoon Fun Box. <laughs> nope, nope. Dial it back, dial it back, dial it back. Dial it back. No, no, no. You, you've got this, you've got Disney this. Disney Afternoon Box. Collection. Close. Close. There, you go. <laughs> there you go. The Disney Afternoon Collection. <laughs> Fun Box, fluffy ice cream time. Yay, I got a point. <laughs> that was totally worth being a jazz free point. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to go over to the video version of the show to watch jazz like <laughs> squirm in that one. Uh, uh, all right. So, what was the name of that last one? Disney afternoon what? Disney the Disney afternoon afternoon light, according to the uh, ice cream <laughs> to, to, to bio cow. Yeah, no, it's the after. It's the Disney afternoon delight. Says bio cow. There you go. Afternoon that, delight. Afternoon delight. <laughs> all right. So that's uh, like it's in flight. That's that's all we have for for, mm. for this game. It's a very short. It was a very short game. Uh, but I uh, think we deserve that. All right, so just got one afternoon Disney Fox collection. Yeah, one in. afternoon delight. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Josh and Carrie both scored three points with CJ and Raul. Oh, we have bitch games. It's like they yeah, were, it's, it's, it's almost podcast. like Raul and I have a podcast where we talk about <laughs> video games. All this imagine time. that. Imagine, imagine. Funny how that works. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost, it's like that time Raul did the Pokemon quiz and expected anybody but me to get any of the answers. I was actually <laughs> proud of myself for getting all of those. Two that all, you got? <laughs> the two that I got, but they were really intense because they were the uh, elements on the Pokemon cards. Oh. <laughs> I, I, uh, so, so should I make oh, a, a robot quiz? <laughs> a gun no quiz. Make a robot quiz. <laughs> Okay. All right. Again, huge thank you to Kieran Bruton for sending the concept of this game. Yay, uh, Kieran Bruton! Yay, all, uh, thank you. Uh, again, if you want to send uh, stuff to me, you can dial at geek-io.net or geekioshow at gmail.com. Just put game or bit idea in the subject line. All right. So <clears throat> you can listen to us live Thursdays at 10 p.m., 7 p.m. Pacific, Fridays at 1 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time over at twitch.tv slash show. If you want to go get a hold of us, you can do so. Geekio show gmail.com. All of the social medias are slash geekio show. And the geek hotline, of course, is 727-489-4335. That is 727-489-Geek. I missed you voicemail, dude. Um, you remember you can support <laughs> this show and everything that we do on the Geek IO Network over patreon.com slash geek IO. Uh, keep an eye on there. We are going to be doing a huge revamp of that here in uh, in the next couple of months before the first of the year. Yes, we've got awesome things planned. Indeed. And next week, there's not going to be anything next week because it's Thanksgiving, people. There's going to be food. So much food. We're going to be over overeating and celebrating America because that's those things. Did you, go guys, again. did you guys see that Stouffer's released uh, ha- th- Thanksgiving pants? Yes. <laughs> Thanksgiving pants. <laughs> they're, they're basically maternity pants. <laughs> yeah, they are. But they're Stouffer's branded, and I think they're like $18 with free shipping or something like that. Fantastic. However, however, don't 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 fret because the epic return of Dale Does Disney will be happening in its place bum, bum, bum. because Australia hates Thanksgiving. I guess I don't. Know. <laughs> right. Right. We'll return I on mean, 30th. it is kind of an American holiday. It's a right. very American holiday. It's Canada. based around food. 
Don't they have their own version though, or is that Canada that has their own? Canada version? has their own Thanksgiving. Oh, Australia gives it. no thanks for anything but the Queen for finally releasing them from their present sentence. <laughs> <laughs> On the thirtieth, we'll be back with a rant and review of uh, Justice League. Yeah, that Jazz might actually get the chance to see this one because he has two weeks to see it. <laughs> That's true. It's possible. Anything's possible. Not probable, but it's possible. <laughs> Definitely not probable. No. All right, so it is time for... Now it's time for the Geek Island Winter Beauty Smackdown Update. I almost forgot to put the reverb on it. All right. I, that reverb, though. That reverb, though. All right, it's week six, y'all. We are studying along. We now have everybody on the board and has had a very busy week. Of course, Josh still holds his commanding lead, but Thor gave it his best and Bad Mom's Christmas also made way too much money for its own good as they end their mm-hmm. runs. Murder on Orient Express and Meet the Flockers 4 uh, enter their second week after very strong dead butts. However, that all will change with DC's Buddy Cop movie and Happy Fluffy Mexico land smash <laughs> break everything even further like this show so you're welcome <laughs> Dale what the fuck did you <laughs> Dale your movie titles have always been the best <laughs> happy, happy yeah. land smash oh uh, my stay God. tuned stay tuned I think That's there was supposed to be some kind of punctuation there to turn out happy fluffy nope. Mexico land so it just nope. went, I read it as happy fluffy Mexico land smash <laughs> 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 the new Hulk movie coming soon. El Hulko, Happy Fluffy Mexico Land Smash. I can have Smash. <laughs> yeah, they did break everything, so that there is that. All right, uh, Thor Ragnarok and Bad Mom's Christmas are finally leaving, uh, and, and Murder on the Orient Express and Daddy's Home too. Entering their second week and opening this week, of course, Jeff's Justice League and Coco, Bud Long opening Wednesday. First place, still holding his league, Josh, with $11.1 million. Second place, Bud Long with $8.2 million. Third place, Jeff with $4.7 million. Fourth place, myself with $3.8 million. Carrie entering the ring, swinging in fifth place at $3.7 million, putting Raul in his place in last place with three point dollars <laughs> Oh, Get on, Lid down this week. He's just waiting for the disaster artist. That's all he's doing. Every time I hear Daddy's home, all I can think of is this. I don't know if I want to click on that. Yeah, incognito. It's an old video from Newgrounds. It's fantastic. There you go. Three minutes and twenty-two seconds. I'm glad that one got. I'm glad you like that one, Bio Cow. Right, I loved uh, El, I El, can, uh, I can be El, kind of racist if I want to be. Hey, right, speaking of kind of racist, Raul, what are we doing? Okay, let me get the right tab. <laughs> All right, small screen, small screen spoiler show. Discuss. Spring spoiler show. Take a drink, uh, Mr. Robot, and it's crazy mind bending BS. I did it this time, CJ. In this week's episode of the Manipool. The party's still trying to take in all the revelations of Kai and Amy's origins. I'm from the moon! A new I'm hair trigger transformation. And there's a cell oh, yeah. party. The party also tries to help a help helping the rescued little girl by performing a exorcism. We didn't have the young priest and the old priest, unfortunately. No, we had we had the sneezing dog and the almighty sewing lady. Well, I mean, ter- um... Uh, there, there's somebody in our party who might be older than they're telling us. Maybe. Uh, Liquid Handicap had spousal fights with CJ versus Rachel and Marv versus Capcom Infinite. Yeah. No gim- gamer geeks because of technical issues. Boo. Generic live show is bucking the trend and highlights good celebrities and their good deeds. Hooray. Like Kevin Spit. Oh. Like Papa Good, oh. good uh, celebrity. Good celebrities. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. He's good. a good guy. And he Keanu looks Reeves. like he's legit. Keanu Reeves is so good. And he looks and like so is, um, I'm, I'm glad he's immortal because we need him around forever. 
We actually we actually talked about uh, Tom. Look what you made, you made me do, Hiddleston on that on that in that clip. So there you go. Good. It's good, it's good that he's a good guy, other than him uh, dating to, uh, Taylor Swift and dumping her. But that's okay. I mean, people could be bound. That's what that's what gave us. Look what you made me do. So you know, <laughs> there's that. To to be fair, yeah. at at this point, I don't think it was Hiddleston's decision. Yeah. We, All right. we, we've got a pretty clear case evidence at this point that Taylor just dates these people to get songs out of it. Yeah. So um <laughs> we open the up the titles. Bot. We open up the show bot. By the way, thank you, BioCow, for helping us set up the show bot at geekioshow.showbot.tv. Oh boy, we have a lot. Titles. <laughs> Carrie. Dale, you uh you you like lots of show titles, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> we have Robit for the Showbit to Illinois you. Nazis are still evil, right? It's an Australian color, you wouldn't understand. Disney Afternoon Delight, Robits, Generic Live Swearing, Utterly Unbearable, The Naughty Bits, Ikayo Show and Tell, A Lighthearted Romp Through Time. Uh, happy Mex- fluffy Mexico land smash, guys! Please don't vote on these while I'm reading them because oh, it reorders them. Oh, you actually, carry up the top. Sorry, we should have said this up before. Up the top, you can turn auto sort off. Yeah, that's so. going away. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, lighthearted run through time, blazing transfer students. That's what caps are for. You would be quarrel too. There's a surprise inside. Back in my day, we got the whole game. Fun to play. Metroid Happy Fluffy Ice Cream Yay, a vague recreation, pure Australian pine mahogany, terrible (laughs) layers of color, DRM Free Sky on MP4, it's all about the finish, acquiring cheese Danish, distracted by the internet parentheses geek.io show, time to go break, it's canon y'all, terrible layers of colors, spoiler lore 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 warning, Sonic boom boom in my room room, it loaded the first time I played it. Dale interrupting Dale, Kim Kardashian's fashion runway model, Disney Fun Time remastered Happy Ice Cream Collection, and just to make sure, yes, okay, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, Robot for the Showbit is top votes, but that was in the lead. Pretty sure. So was Nazis are still evil, right? I kind of like. I kind of like either. Disney Afternoon Delight or Disney's Fun Time Remastered Happy Lovey Ice Cream Collection. You al- you always go for my really long ones, and that makes me happy. There you go. <laughs> well, it was a, a funny bit too. So, all right. Well, it looks oh, is like- that too long though? It looks like Robin for the show, but is the. Is- I don't know. It's tied with Disney Afternoon Delight. Oh, yeah. uh, so somebody's got to break the tie. Yeah. Come on. You Come on. Vote, vote for more than one. Yeah, you can vote for as many as you want. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you can vote for as many as we want. First one to hit four wins. Although I kind of like Happy Fluffy Mexico Land Snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? But they both hit four at the same <laughs> time. <laughs> yes. For whatever reason, I can't see Robit for the show bit to vote for it, so... I kind of, I, I, I think it has to be. First one to hit five wins? <laughs> Unless they both hit five at the same time? Uh, <laughs> Disney Afternoon Delight. Yeah, guys. Right. Oh, squeaks in a win over Robot for the show. Squeaks in a win. We can, we can do Disney Afternoon Delight parentheses, Robot for the show, but. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in the summary. It'll be in the summary. It'll be in the summary. Oh my god, you guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us greatly. It was it was a good show. We will uh, see you in a couple of weeks with Justice League and Dale. We'll see you right back here next week with uh, See you all there next week, 10 p.m. Eastern. With uh, some Disney stuff. Probably games that won't work on his computer. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's only because they require me to purchase them on Steam to then have a physical disc. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Just... oh. Um as long as there's no light rail involved, right? I thankfully I'm thank fuck I'm done with cars too. <laughs> Hooray! Wait, wait. Yay! Yay! All right, guys. Bye. Good old spray. 
This has been a Geekio Media Network production. Copyright 2017. You're <laughs> There we go. Now you're moving as you should too. Song. <laughs>